everyone. So I'm on my way now to an overnight session. So as you guys know, I don't uh, get that much time to do overnight sessions. So I'm very excited for this one. Putting in a 24 hour session at the Little Lake. So you guys saw that video of mine where I blanked um, on a few weeks ago. Yeah, and just since then the venue has been haunting me. Every time when I blank at a venue, it just haunts me and I just, I need to go back. I have to go back and yeah, catch something. So yeah, very excited um, for the overnight session. Um, it's now quarter to five and yeah, I should be there in about 5 p.m. So yeah, excited. Um, when I get to the venue, um, I'm not gonna waste time. Um, I'm gonna take the hour I have before sunset to get the rods ready, get the bait out and get my rods in. Um, yeah, I don't wanna do it while it's dark. So yeah, I thought I'd take the time while I'm driving um, to film the intro of the video. So yeah, very excited, um, hoping to catch something. The weather looks uh, promising, uh, nice cloudy weather. Um, it's not that cold, uh, temperature's a bit higher. So yeah, very excited. Um, I just hope I catch something in the 24 hours and I don't want to blank again. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, next time you'll see me or next time I'll, I'm gonna speak to you is after the rods are in. And then as soon as the rods are in, I'll start setting up camp and pitching the tent and everything. So. Yeah, awesome. Okay, chat again. Let's carry on on the road. Okay, so it's three minutes to six and all three rods are in. Uh, quickly take you through the baiting approach. So my left hand rod's a margin rod. Um, the margin here drops off very quickly and it's almost like a straight off drop. So yeah, saw some activity in the margin. So that one's out, just a PVA mesh with some, some, some spicy FNR boilies, uh, pellets, and then the fish liquid extract. That's out with a pineapple banana pop-up. And then the middle rod is out right across from me um, two fake maize and the um, reason for that is because in the bait I prepared there was a lot of sweet corn in it as well um, so that's the middle rod and then the right hand rods out to the right um, that's on a snowman presentation spicy if not topped with a krill boily um, yeah and then also the prepared bait that went out on it um, I'll maybe show you guys later on or tomorrow um, basically what I did in my for my bait preparation what I prepared um, but yeah, so lines are in. Now I just need to set up the rest of it. Get my sleeping spot ready. Okay, holding thumbs. Let's hope it's a successful session. Here we go. Okay, so quick update of the session so far of what's going on. So I decided to move the margin rod um, to a different spot where I saw a carp jump um, just before it, uh, it was completely dark here. So quickly took the canoe that's here and paddled out to the spot. So it's basically dropped between the island and the bank, um, just in front of it actually where I assume it might be like a natural pathway for the carp that they could follow um, if they swim around that area. So it's out on a pineapple banana pop-up um, with some pellets and boilies in a PVA mesh. So yeah, let's see what happens. It's now quarter to 10. Um, so yeah, 
Uh, still a long way to go. A lot can still happen. Okay, let's carry on. Let's get back to the rods. Okay, quarter past five, um, just woke up, I was still lying in the tent, heard a beep, came out, backdrop, yeah, first crop from Little Lake, awesome. Okay, it's in the net, let's sort everything out. Okay, there it is, my first Little Lake crop. Okay, I'm going to quickly transfer it to the sling and then I'll wait a little bit later just as the sun comes up. Okay, sure. Um, so yeah, I just quickly had this one in the in the sling. Kept it. Come on. Uh, kept it in the sling while I just fixed the rod, the rod and just yeah, casted it out again. Uh, I waited just before I just before I put it back um, in the sling, and it weighed in at 8.2 kilos. So yeah, uh, very happy with myself. Um, two reasons, one for it being my first carp here at the Little Lake, finally broke the code, <laughs> if you can call it that, and yeah, this was on the rod that I moved um, during the night, on that pineapple pop-up from MCT Baits, and yeah, here it is, nice, 8.2 Little Lake carp. Very, ah, oh, come on. Very chuffed with myself. Yeah, these carp are really, really healthy. They're nice and fat. Um, yeah, and, and strong, and they've got a will of their own. Okay, but here we go. There we are. Okay. 8.2 Little Lake Carp, my first one. So, yeah, very happy, very chuffed with myself. Okay, there you go. Awesome. <laughs> awesome feeling. Okay, I'm going to quickly take a photo and then we'll put it back.
Okay, good morning everyone. Morning for the second time. So yeah, um, it's now about quarter to seven. Sun's coming up. Uh, yeah, it's a nice morning. It's not too cold. Uh, no wind, <laughs> luckily. No wind like the last time. Um, but yeah, last time I was here, it, the day also started like this and yeah, the wind picked up like crazy. So hopefully there's no wind today. But yeah, after that catch um, at quarter past five this morning, I'm very optimistic for the day. Um, yeah, so like I said, that one fell to a pineapple banana pop-up. Um, so I spoke to Gerard um, last night as well. And he said a day or two before I got here, um, there was also guys fishing here day session. And they landed one on a pop-up as well. Also the pineapple pop-up. So yeah, um, I've decided I'm going to change all three rods to the pop-ups um, it looks like it's a hook bait that they prefer or what, uh, that they like so yeah i'm gonna change all three rods to the pop-ups and then also this morning he's on his way now i've got a special guest <coughs> <coughs> sorry um, i'm a bit fluish as well um, so yeah but i've got a special guest coming for today's session so it's Garrett. Now, Gerrit is the new owner of MCT Baits. Um, so he's joining me today. Um, we've had a few video calls since I joined um, the ambassadors and since he took over. So yeah, very eager to meet him in person. So yeah, he's going to join me in the session and we're going to talk about a bit about MCT and the, all the plans that he has. And he's got some major plans for MCT. I'm very excited for the stuff that he's planning for MCT. So yeah, um, let's get it on. Back to the rods. Ik heb het afgekomen. Ah, toch gezien daar. Dang it. Okay, so that sucked. Yeah, uh, had a take on that middle rod, um, but unfortunately it came off. Um, yeah, it wasn't a big run, but it actually lifted the line and the back lead. Yeah, and as it came off, I could see in the spot where it is, I could see it break the water as well. So, yeah, that sucks, but it's a good sign. Um, at least shows their feeding. Um, yeah, that was the middle rod. It was about half an hour after recasting it on that pineapple banana pop-up with the MCT pellets and spicy FNR boilies in the PVA mesh. So, yeah, uh, just recasted it. So, yeah. Hopefully it goes again or something else. Let's see. Quick tip for anyone that might struggle uh, for when you're casting, you're dropping the lead on the cast. Um, yeah, I struggle with it a lot. Yeah, and every cast is going to cost you 16 to 18 rand when you drop a lead. So what I do is I use PVA string and then, yeah, just below the oh well basically oh, focus no man basically um just below the rubber i use pva string and i tie it around that three to four times and yeah it stops the lead from dropping and it dissolves after a while and then the lead still drop when a fish takes it so yeah just i thought i'd share it with you guys because i really struggle with uh casting without dropping the lead on the cast yeah Okay guys, so I mentioned to you guys earlier that I've got a special guest coming today and it's Gerrit. Now Gerrit here next to me, he's the new owner of MCT. Um, like I mentioned earlier, um, he's got some pretty awesome plans for, for MCT and I'm very excited about it. So yeah, we're doing a session today together here still at Little Lake. Um, yeah, so that we can discuss all his plans and the, and the way forward. So uh, yeah, I think Gerrit, it's from your kind of. Um, yeah, so... I know there's been a lot of controversy and questions been asked towards us 
and uh, to know where exactly we're we standing and where am I in the picture and when when is the product going to be back in the market full um, <clears throat> so to answer that in, 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 a, in a quick summary um, we are working behind the scenes um, we, it, it's taking a little bit more than anticipated and um, but we are working behind the scenes and we are re redeveloping the whole, the whole re um, all the recipes, all of the baits. It's going to be total new range. There's going to be two or three with the old flavors there. But the ingredients are going to be way, way better than it used to be. Um, we are planning coming into the South African market again within the next three to four months with a world-class bait, um, hopefully. Uh, it's going to be, um, I believe it's going to be in, 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 in a, a next level. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be hopefully competing with, with UK markets and um, uh, UK baits. Uh, so we, we are very excited and we know it's been, been taking a long time. We started with the, with, with the look, it's, uh, it's a new look. The logo has been designed, we already posted it on, the, on, on, the, on uh, social media. Uh, but we are we are definitely working on 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 a whole new range, and we are excited to to come back, um, and we're going to come back with a bang. We promise you that. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So yeah, I'm I'm also very excited of all the stuff that Gerrit told me. Um, yeah, so I think yeah, in future check this space, um, check out MCT social media. I'll share the links um, in my social media in this video as well. And yeah, exciting times ahead. I'm really looking forward to the new baits that are mm. being developed and everything. So, yeah, just watch the space. Definitely. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so far um, we haven't had any luck yet um, since that one I lost this morning. Um, yeah, there was no real activity or anything. Uh, there's about two hours left in the session. Uh, we just had a little bit of rain drizzling down over here, so hopefully it wakes up the carp. Um, but I must say activity on the water has been picking up uh, every now and then. So yeah, we're still optimistic, um, but this is typical little lake it's difficult it's not an easy venue to fish so yeah um let's see what happens like i said we have two hours left in the session hopefully we catch something Okay, so we're in the last 30 minutes of the session. Um, so far, Little Lake again during the daytime. Yeah, um, lots of activity now in the later, later part of the day, but yeah, no bites, no beeps, no nothing. No carp in the margin anywhere. It had a walk around a couple of times, but yeah, nothing. Um, so we'll see, maybe uh, we'll get lucky in this last 30 minutes. Well, I hope, every time I say I hope we get lucky, but it yeah, doesn't always happen, but yeah, we know anything can happen. So yeah, let's see what happens. Last 30 minutes, here we go. <laughs> okay guys, so we're at the end of the end of the session, unfortunately. Gerrit blanked. I didn't blank because I caught that one earlier this morning. So yeah, um, but yeah, still Little Lake Stay is a difficult venue. Um, so yeah, but we made a bit, we had a look around in, in the bottom, the silt and all that stuff, and we made a bit of plans. So we think next time we uh, we'll be better, even better prepared than what we would uh, with this session. But yeah, still awesome little venue. Um, I'll be definitely back. Like I said previously, challenge accepted. Mm. For um, sure, yeah. we'll be back soon. 
learned a lot, but that's how we learn, huh? Yeah, that's why it's called fishing and not catching. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Cheers till next time.